Welcome to Yolo, Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. Check out heart racing attractions. <laughs> and taste mouth-watering foods that only this great state has to offer. Look tamale in there. I don't know why I was so surprised about that. Why you ask? Well, to simply put it, yellow. You only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, your go-to guide for all the places to see and things to do across the great state of Texas. I'm your host, AC, and on today's show, we are hitting up San Antonio's newest and biggest family event of the year at Big Tex Fun. But up first, we are getting a taste of something a little sweeter as we head to Brenham to check out the very iconic Bluebell ice cream. Welcome to Brenham. It's about halfway between Austin and Houston and is also the heart of the Blue Bonner region of Texas and it's also an important piece of Texas State history. And we're not just talking about ice cream. Not yet anyway because Washington County is also home to the site of the signing of the Texas Declaration of Independence and now has one more reason that's helped put Brenham on the map with everyone's favorite dessert. Bluebell is actually the fourth largest ice cream producer in the whole entire country, and it all started with the Little Creamery back in 1907. You'll find, not surprisingly, an ice cream parlor and a factory, but you'll also find a country store, visitor center, a couple of Instagram-friendly spots, and crowds of ice cream-loving folks from all over here to experience the birthplace of a legend. And to get a little advice and to learn a bit more about the story behind Bluebell, I met up with Joe here at the parlor. Thank you so much. Best welcome ever. Yes. <laughs> Joe, thank you so much for meeting us here today. What sets Bluebell apart from all the other guys? Well, it is the product first and foremost. We, we have the freshest and finest ingredients. From the time we uh, purchase ingredients, to the time one of our employees delivers it to a store shelf, a Bluebell employee's handled that product. Nice, that's that's nice to know. It's handled mm -hmm. with care yeah. and with professionalism. That's right. <laughs> we are gonna do a little bit of a tour. What can visitors expect when they do come out here and visit? Yeah, we invite people onto the property, okay? It's pretty much a self a guided experience. We have a, a statue garden out front that has the founders and our, our cow and girl logo in a statue form. Yeah. Then we have a museum that people can look through and then after that of course everybody wants to come up and eat ice cream. That's the goal, right? <laughs> yes. So we have an ice cream parlor and we added an observation deck last year. Wonderful. Lots well, to see. Y'all have been great, you know, just introducing us to the whole entire place. Y'all have been wonderful. I can't wait to get going. I can only imagine what to expect back there. Yep. Thank you. Our first stop, the observation deck with our tour guide, Jenny, where you can view the ice cream making process and build up an appetite of what's to come. So the first process that you're gonna come into on our observation deck is actually an explanation about how we make our ice cream. We start with our milk and we make our way through and this kind of just explains what you're watching. As the milk comes in, it's tested and once it's been accepted, then we get it into production. Perfect. Then we go through pasteurization. Oh. Then it goes through, I don't know, homogenizer and homogenization is basically these little gears that pump out the product and then from there once we start whipping up that cream into ice cream that's where we're gonna actually add those fresh ingredients okay and then we can actually see the magic down here happen where it's then filled into the half gallons perfect yeah so let's, let's go take a look at that yeah So now what we're looking at is actually down in our production area. Very cool. So because of our employees and privacy, we don't actually allow cameras to film that, but you can see how exciting this is for visitors that are coming through to just watch how their favorite treats are actually being made. Yeah. So do you want to check out how we take our ice cream from our creamery to the store? Yes, I would love to. All right, well, let's go show you how that works. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. 
we have Bluebell trucks on the road actually delivering ice cream to the grocery stores. So this is kind of what that looks like. You want to take a look inside? You want me to go inside there? Yeah, you want to go check it out? Let's do it. All right, let's go, let's go walk through the truck here. So get into the cold temperatures. Yes. You got to get suited up properly. Okay. Let's do this, y'all. <laughs> okay, see y'all. Here goes nothing. Oh, we're locked in. Oh my goodness, it really is cold in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this, but look at all the different flavors that they have, y'all. This whole TV thing doesn't work out. Maybe I'll be a Bluebell ice cream delivery person. What do y'all say? After that, we ducked into the country store for some more seasonally appropriate Bluebell swag. Cook it up in the kitchen. Trucker hats are always in, right? <laughs> I love it. I get cranky without my Bluebell. <laughs> and coffee. If you want to learn more about the history of Bluebell, you can stop by the Visitor Center and pick up some fun facts along the way. So as with any tour, you probably need to start with a hat. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I've been seeing them around. Seeing I was around. waiting until I get to pull one out, put one on. Looks great on you. Thank you. <laughs> it only fits my head that much, but it'll work. So around here, we have our uh, Bluebell history timeline. So we started as the Brenham Creamery Company, but we actually changed our name in 1919 to Bluebell Creameries after the wildflower, the Bluebell, that grows in this area in the hot summer months. Very cool, I didn't I know. know that. Yeah, it's really oh, neat. So this is actually a photo of Howard Cruzy early on in production. Handsome fella. Yeah, <laughs> and you know what he was responsible for creating? What is that? Homemade vanilla. Oh, our number one he's the seller. Genius. He is. <laughs> so he worked many, many years to create that flavor and really make sure he captured that homemade taste. So here in Texas, you can see where all we have these distribution centers that are actually responsible for getting it into the local stores. Yeah. And then we have three production facilities. Our obviously our largest one here in Brenham. You Texas. are here. That's right. We are here. <laughs> are you getting hungry yet? I am. I actually. know. <laughs> Want to learn more about visiting the Bluebell Creamery? Go to bluebell.com or find them on Facebook.